We're going to take a look at a new game that just recently released. I started playing it, and I'm really enjoying it. So let's roll the intro, and then we'll be right back with a quick look at Valheim. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome to the channel. If you're just finding my channel through this video, welcome. Basically, I do two uh, football manager saves a week, daily content Monday through Saturday. I usually do a second save, which currently is Sim Airport. And then I do some one-offs like this for introduction to games that I'm playing so I can try to introduce them to you guys and uh, kind of tell you some things that I have discovered about the game, my thoughts about the game, for whatever that's worth. So let's get into it. The game is called Valheim. It is a Viking-style survival game. The nutshell of the game is you are trying to get to Valhalla, which is the Viking afterworld uh, where you have eternal life. Uh, but you have to, you're brought back from the dead and you have to kind of earn your way to Valhalla. And to earn your way there, you have to survive in this, I don't want that. You have to survive in this uh, world that you are brought into. There are five bosses that you have to defeat, but it's an open, procedurally generated world. There's some unique twists to that, which are interesting, we'll talk about. And... You know, it's it's a building game. It's a survival game. Uh, there is combat. Uh, there is base building. But let's get into it and just kind of look at it. The first thing off, when you start your game, you create your character. Now, here's the first interesting bit. Your character and the world you're in are unique and separate. What does that mean? Well, my character... You can go into the first world, and if you don't like it, you can leave and then go back to this screen and go into a new world that you create. And each world is procedurally generated, and so that means every world is going to be unique in how it's set up. The game itself is the same, but the, where you start, the creatures in that area, uh, the biome that you're in, everything will be different. The other cool thing Let's say you're gathering resources in one world and you're like, man, I don't have a lot of stone in this area. You can leave, go into a new world. If there's a lot of stone, you can gather all that stone up, leave that world and go back into your first world and all that stone that's in your possession will go back with you. So if you decide you want to switch worlds at any point, you can actually sit there and make several trips and bring all of your goods with you and basically start fresh in a new world. But we're gonna go into the world that I have started. There's my seed number if you wanna copy it. And this is where we would create a new world if we wanted to, but we're gonna start in this world. So let's dive in and take a look at it. So I just started, pl I played this uh, this week a little bit. We've been in the middle of a winter freeze. Uh, I've been without power for almost three days, came back on late last night. So that's good. Let me know in the comments about the volume. I've turned it all pretty far down to where you can still hear some of it, but um, it is not blowing out your speakers and overwhelming me. All right, so here we are in our world. Let's run outside and take a look. I need to build that up. Now it is nighttime. I don't really want to be out here too much, but you can see we're in this little uh, veil here. Uh, we do have some uh, a little creek running through there. And then out on this side, we have uh, ocean out on there. We can open up our map. We'll zoom in on it. And you can see I've got uh, this house by the water, uh, a hunting lodge house with boars. This is a circle. This is where you actually start at. And this is the first boss. So... Let's run in here. We'll take a look at what I've been building. This is actually a build that I'm doing. And I need to break that out, don't I? Can I get up those stairs? No, I cannot. All right, well, we'll break that out. Uh, if you ever want to break something out, because the game doesn't do a really great job of telling you, 
Uh, you see number five, that's my hammer. You take out your hammer, you point at an object, and you click your middle mouse button, and it will break it. You click your right mouse button to build, bring up your building tools, and that is where you can add on uh, new things. And right there. So the second thing we want to talk about in a little bit of depth is building mechanics. So you'll see here, let's take out that hammer again. You'll see that I'm pointing at the ground floor here. They're green. And then that one's green. That one's green. That one's turning yellow, right? This one's green. So basically, there's the physics in the game are very different. Anything that touches the ground, let's go outside and I'll show you what I'm talking about. On this one, I built these little platforms at the bottom. Anything that touches the ground will be blue. And then as you go up from there, they will progressively get weaker in structure. Basically, you can go up about five to six items without additional supports. So th there's some pretty amazing structures. If you check out some other videos, uh, that will show you some really cool things. But again, it needs to be in touch with something on the ground and then building up from there. And then the higher you get, the weaker it gets. And eventually you will reach a point of collapse. All right, this house that I'm in here was already in existence, but it was destroyed. There, the end pieces were here. I added the door. Uh, I updated the chimney. Now, there are some mechanics in the game. The smoke from your fire does need a place to escape to. So if we run around the side here, you'll notice we have a chimney that is allowing the smoke to rise up out of our dwelling and escape. Now, I put a rooftop on there, very similar to these, a little cap piece, because you don't want it to rain on your fire. And you can see I'm getting a warning that I am cold. And then when we come inside, we're not cold anymore because we're near a fire. The heat from a fire, and you see in, the, in my toolbar up here to the right, resting and comfort of five. Uh, the comfort is your fire. And then also we have a deerskin rug in here and you get a rested bonus after you stand here for a while or you sleep and you see it last for 12 minutes. Well, what that does is while you're out running around the world, it will help your stamina and health regenerate faster. Your workbench, very important. That'll be the first thing you plop down. It does have to have a roof over the top for you to use it. I put mine inside uh, only because some of the monsters that attack you will break your workbench. I have also built this little lean-to over here. You see I've got some rocks in there. We'll step in here. Uh, these rocks are piles of 50. You can also do wood, but I need to do some wood gathering uh, because of the building I've done. So that is something we will work on. Well, I will work on. But you have basic things that you can create here. If we take a look at our workbench, as you find and build or craft things, you'll open up new recipes. That's the first, that's another tip. So you'll notice the ha we have this chopping block that has a star and also a tanning rack that has a star. Well, I've already built the chopping block right here. And you'll notice there is kind of these stars going between it and the workbench when I when I have my hammer out. And what that does is it opens new items that we can craft. So you can see all the items that I can now craft. And you start off with like four or five things. That's it. And then as you build, and then you can upgrade your workbench. So putting this chopping block down, upgraded the workbench to level two. And if I build the tanning rack, it will upgrade this to level three and open up additional items that we can craft. You have a hotkey with eight items. You can, and then to switch those, you just hit your tab button and you can click and drag those around as you want. Uh, you can see I've got a club, a bow, a knife. Uh, I believe that's a flint knife, so that's a level two knife. 
I've got a flint axe. I've got a level two hammer, a torch, a wood shield, and my hoe. Now, the hoe, what that allows you to do is terraform. And you can see this dirt right here where the grass is gone. So I have actually terraformed this area. Now, terraforming, pretty interesting. Uh, number eight, please. So you get this circle radiating out from your cursor point. The interesting thing, we can right click, you can level out, you can raise ground, or you can make a path. Now raising ground, you can see at the bottom, it takes four stone, and you have to be in the radius of a workbench, which is that white circle that you see flashing there. And that's our workbench inside the building. Now raising the ground, the four stone gets very expensive, but if you look right here, how this is much lower down here, watch what we can do. I'm gonna come up here to this higher ground and you kind of pick the very edge of your highest point and it does take stamina. And then we're gonna move out just a little bit. And you can see that we are technically raising the ground without using stone by flattening the ground. Now, what you can do with that flattening the ground is we can actually build land between the shore and this little island right here. So that is something you could do if you wanted to bring that and be part of your uh, area. But I wanted to show you how the, uh, raise, the leveling worked, that you can technically raise land by doing that off of here. And, but you just go real slow right to the edge of the high area and it will continue to raise that up. And we can do that all day long. So what you want to avoid though is you want to avoid just spamming it at random because then you don't get the same height. And you can see we still get a downward slope here, but we can come back up and we can try right on the edge of that high area there. And you can see that's a little bit better. Bring it out on this side. And there you go. That's a little bit better right there. So, you know, you just keep doing that. But work off of the edge of these high points. And that's the key to doing your terraforming. Took me a little while and a few videos to figure that out. Uh, also, we have skills. Your skills go up every time you do something. So if we run by holding the shift key, you will run and eventually your skill will go up. And you can see we're real close. The orange bar is how many XP we've earned in this level. And when, we, when that finishes, we'll go to six and the red bar will start again. Clubs. Uh, this increases your damage with clubs, blocking, so you want to let people hit you. It looks like when they hit you, they do take some of your stamina. And the last tip I'm going to give you on the game itself, because again, this was just a few tips, but kind of give you some, some key things to get started, uh, which is kind of how I like to operate. Most everything that you touch will, or if you kill something, if you're close to it, you'll automatically pick it up. But like you saw that stone, we had to grab that, uh, but then it was sitting there and then it picked up automatically. Uh, you can see running there. We just gained a level in running. And I just wanted to see if we could find one more item in here. Oh, there's a boar. Let's grab that and our shield. Oh, it's not a boar. It's a grayling. All right, we'll kill him. There is a boar here. And boars, boars are really good because they give you leather scraps and you need that to craft certain items. Deer will give you uh, deer skin or plain leather and you need that to build other things. So you can see there's a lot going on in here. Last tip, because this is important. When you first start, you don't have anything. So 
You hit the R key, you'll sheath the items you're wearing, and R again pulls them right back out. But you can punch these smaller trees. That will level up your unarmed, and you can actually break these down for wood. So on these smaller ones, go ahead and hit those, and that works your unarmed to gain wood early on. And you need wood and a stone to make your first axe. And there is a stone. So you see it's not picking up, but I'll pick it up, and then we picked it up automatically. I thought I saw, oh, there's a deer over there. Let's crouch. I'm going to pull out my knife. We're going to try to go behind him. And this is something you can do at a reasonably low level. If you come up behind him, and there you go. The knife does amazing damage. The knife does amazing damage. So as soon as you can make that, make it. Uh, but you can kill boars that way, and you level up your stealth skill when you're in close proximity to another creature. All right, guys. Well, that's it. I just wanted to give you a quick look at Valheim. As I said, really enjoying the game. I've got nine hours into it, as you can see. Um, but you can see we've got some boars over there. I do have that house that was up in that other area. Uh, and that's a place I noted a lot of boars were near. Those creatures do respawn. I have a lot of deer right in this area. And, um, you know, great game. So I do check it out. I don't have any codes. It's not a big enough channel to give free codes or anything or to get uh, free codes from the uh, developer. But uh, I'm sure there are some people out there that can. Uh, but, hey, I just wanted to share it with my channel viewers uh, one last thing, tin and flint always is down by the river. Copper is usually up in the mountains. And do you see those rocks right there? They're kind of in an elongated boat shape. When you have those and you get your pick that you can dig down, mine those areas out because there, there's treasure in that area. I hope these tips help you get started. Let me know in the comments if you do play the game what you think about it. Share some tips that maybe you found with the other people that watch the video. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Hope you check out some of my other content. And we will see you guys next time. Bye.